Brunei Darussalam is nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia, on the northwestern coast of the world's third largest island, Borneo. Prior to 2008, not much had been known about Brunei's coral reefs. But upon close inspection, subsequent surveys soon revealed Brunei's charm. Bathed by the warm tropical waters of the South China Sea, the reefs of Brunei offer a refuge for a vibrant diversity of corals, reef fish, and smaller reef dwelling animals. Beyond the large schools of pelagic fish, like the yellowtail barracudas and rabbit fish, seen patrolling the waters of Brunei, a myriad smaller yet ecologically important creatures often go unnoticed. These are the tiny heroes of our sea. The best example of these animals? Gobies. Don't be mistaken by their small size. Gobies represent the largest family of marine fish and possibly the most diverse too. This is a Loki whip goby, found here at Belong Rocks. As your lives are spent holding on to the coral, they have evolved a set of pelvic fins which allow them to grip down in strong currents. A large diversity of anemone fish can be found in Brunei. This is the common false clown anemone fish. Their symbiotic relationship with the anemone allows the fish to attain a protective home from predators and in return, the fish helps clean and provides nutrients for the anemone. This other species, the quark's anemone fish, is seen amongst bubble tip anemone. Sometimes, commensal shrimps or partner shrimps can be observed among the anemone. They use the sea anemone's tentacles for protection although the anemone doesn't appear to benefit. Another much larger type of shrimp is the mantis shrimp. It is often seen burrowed in the sand or scurrying around the seafloor. This species, the peacock mantis shrimp, lies patiently at one of the entrances of its burrow, here at the Bana Reef. Their eyes are known to be the most advanced in the entire marine ecosystem. Their psychedelic colors could serve as a warning to others. The shrimp has evolved to display extremely aggressive behavior. This species, for example, is well capable for smashing out of glass aquariums. Flip through the reef guidebooks of Brunei and chances are you won't find this. A rare occurrence and a spectacular sight, this ornate ghost pipefish was found off a Bana reef amongst these red Gorgonian sea fans. Needless to say, they certainly are masters of camouflage. Speaking of camouflage, Brunei's reefs host a dazzling array of cephalopods, like the cuttlefish. Here at Abana Reef, we often find them along the sandy seabed. While they lack a protective shell, these animals well compensate through their intelligence and a unique display of colors. Cuttlefish have the highest brain-to-body mass ratio of all marine invertebrates. This broad club cuttlefish is the second largest species of its kind. It can adopt an infinite number of textures, colors, and poses to communicate, camouflage, and hypnotize its prey. Impressed by the colors of the cuttlefish? Another animal very much known for its vibrant colors are sea slugs, or a pistobranx, which means gills behind. An impressive 6,000 species of sea slugs are nudibranx. Their bright colors and intricate patterns appear like jewels scattered across the reefscape, and Brunei offers a wide variety of species. Often small and hard to spot, they can be distinguished by their rhinopores or the horn-shaped structures on their heads. These are sensory organs which allow the nudibranchs to smell, taste, touch, as well as navigate, find food and locate their mates. This nudibranch is from the Glossodorus genus. Its flamboyant colors are an example of a pulsomatic coloration. 
the colors act as a defense mechanism, warning potential predators about the toxicity these nudibranchs possess. Scientists have observed that certain nudibranchs have evolved to look the same. This phenomenon is known as Mullerian mimicry, where predators that learn not to prey on one species are likely to avoid others which resemble it. This Gorniobranchus nudibranch, for example, with its black and white coloration, mimics the common Philidia nudibranchs. Unlike its counterparts, these Philidids have tougher skin, and instead of the flower-like gill structures on their backs, their gills are hidden under their mental skirts. This species is often known as the blue dragon, an example of Aeolid nudibranch. These nudibranchs have been found to store and cultivate zooxanthellae from their food source. Inside the slug's bodies, the microalgae continue to photosynthesize, producing key nutrients which the slug metabolizes. In actual fact, these nudibranchs are solar powered and can flourish for lengthy periods without feeding. These creatures offer a treat for divers here in Brunei. A homegrown dive community is slowly growing and with the planned designation of marine protected areas, there continues to be excellent opportunities for local dive operators to expand and contribute to the successful development of Brunei's ecotourism industry. Globally, marine habitats continue to face a very uncertain future, constantly threatened by changes in the climate and ocean chemistry. But just as how these tiny heroes of our sea play immense roles in the ecosystem, like serving as key food source for larger predators, Brunei's coral reefs also play a major role in the nation's economy. While these tiny animals are indispensable in the wider ecosystem, we humans too can make a significant impact in protecting our ocean. One small action at a time.